Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Our topic for this week is about the drag and drop multicolored fonts that are found uh, that get installed with the software. And if you don't already know about them, please let me show you. And so we'll go ahead and we'll make my workspace nice and large. And um, you can see I've got um, you know, an image on my screen. But if I just go ahead and um, click on new for an empty workspace, I'll show you where to find them because these are not fonts that you will use with your font tool. These are drag and drop fonts that you'll find in your library over on the right hand side. And so when you click on library, you'll notice that there is a list of places that you can visit. And one of them says fonts with a little plus beside it. And if I click on the plus, it will show me the list of all of the fonts that are available from this list. And all of these fonts actually get installed with your Floriani software. And so they're available uh, to use. Simply select your font. So this is called the Academy Fuzzy Font. And I simply click on it. And now I need to click where it says designs to be able to see it. And those that is the Academy fuzzy font. I can scroll through all the different letters and numbers that are available. If I want to use one of them, I simply click and drag to bring it onto my workspace. And you'll notice that it has uh, more than one color to it. You know, there's the pink, then there's kind of like um, two borders. One border is like a satin stitch. And then the second one is a running stitch that goes around the outside. And so this font has been designed with the cool Floriani fuzzy fill to kind of emulate um, the Academy letters on your Letterman kind of bomber jacket. And so there, um, there uh, is an extra option for it with puffy foam. Well, it's very much the same set of designs. Um, there's really only one main difference and that is the, the set that was made uh, with the name Puffy Foam is intended to use Puff Foam underneath the satin stitch border. So you would place your Puff Foam after sewing your fuzzy fill, but before sewing your satin stitch border. And of course, then it would remove. It's a topper. You know, you can remove it. Uh, so the difference in the design is actually in the density. You'll notice that the 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 border for the puff foam has much much more density than the similar border uh that was not made for puff foam kind of has regular satin stitch density and so that's really the the thing with these fonts is that if you wanted to design with them you simply come to the side and you find uh, the letters that you want to embroider or numbers and drag them in and then the program will sew each letter in its entirety, you know, before moving on to the next letter. And you can um, sort of browse through. There are several beautiful fonts available in this list. So that's the Academy Fuzzy. What about the Cosmic Retro three color letters? And this set, each letter has kind of cool little stars and starbursts and little cosmic um, sort of shapes that go with it. And so you'll see that they're these are what we would call a decorative multicolor font. And the reason they come over in the side is because they don't really work as well when you try to type out because the program's always going to want to combine the colors, you know, uh, if we made it into a regular font. And this way it keeps the colors separate. And if you want to, you can organize them. In other words, I could take this design right now and just click on the color start tool and that would combine the blues and combine the turquoise and combine the red so that it did so all at one time. So it's totally possible to sew this, you know, reduce the color stops once you've drag and dropped to bring in, you know, just the letters that you want. Um, but with a lot of these, I think leaving the sewing sequence the way it is, is also desirable because there may be an applique in the design. So notice that this set here is a shadow with an applique and motif letters on top. And so it really may be a better plan to simply sew all of the number five before, you know, sewing the first color of the letter A. And like I said, if you want to, you can combine the colors together for these. And so there's several of these drag and drop multicolored fonts that you will find in your library. This one is called the Old Fashioned Monograms. 
And so in this case, each letter is very different from the other ones, um, but they are really beautifully decorated letters that you can simply click and drag to bring onto your screen and then, um, you know, add perhaps some regular text to go along with it. So maybe this is starting, you know, Paul, and you type the large P, and then you go with kind of more of a scripty AUL, which, you you know, you could bring in from your text tool. You would just, you know, click to start the words, my text. And then, of course, you would um, update that to be the letters that you needed to make your monogram and of course you can resize them so that it you know once you get it kind of close to how you wanted it to look but maybe they felt a little small or a little large you can obviously resize them and so this is the real cool thing about the drag and drop multicolored fonts is that they're found in your library and um so this is the fancy anniversary script and once again each letter has multiple colors and beautiful ornate decorations that come in with the letters and so you'll see in this case that we've got um, beautiful little candle wick elements to it there's a uh, mesh fill in multiple colors and so go ahead and try the um, drag and drop multicolored letters and we hope you enjoyed this week's rnk software clubs video for the week